Fire remains approximately 35 kilometers north of town and uh, approximately uh, 23 kilometers from Martin Beach. Uh, Martin Beach remains on an evacuation at this point and uh, uh, will, uh, will for the foreseeable future. Um, the town still remains on an eight-hour evacuation alert. Uh, that is something we don't anticipate changing at this point. Uh, wind is working in our favor again today as it comes from the uh, southeast, uh, but uh, the fire is experiencing some of its own weather patterns and the fuel sources uh, are high and we're seeing some back burning that's, that's going on and basically that fire uh, jumps backwards instead of forwards. It isn't uh, significant at this point, but it definitely causes some concern and an area to keep an eye on, uh, which is why we keep the eight hour evacuation order in place. Uh, today the big um, um, you know, I think the big stress points or trigger points are going to be watching lightning. Uh, we do anticipate some moisture in the area today uh, and uh, not significant enough to get excited, but uh, with it comes lightning and that uh, we'll see, we're already seeing some lightning um, on the north end of the fire and there was a startup uh, near Loon last night um, that uh, fire crews are working on. Uh, that being said, uh, there's approximately, um, I think it's 40 uh, aircraft uh, working on this fire. Uh, we have um, 300 and some personnel plus equipment, um, uh, uh, resources from other provinces all around and it remains a high priority. Lots of support from the province and um, the Premier and Minister is calling regularly to uh, see if there's any assistance that we need. Uh, but at this point it remains uh, to keep an eye on the weather. Uh, our biggest concern moving forward is any new starts would pull additional resources. Um, and so, uh, you know, hopefully the wind continues to work in our favor and we'll kind of monitor it day by day and see where things go. But uh, don't anticipate um, lifting any of the evacuation notices or alerts uh, at this point. I think no matter where you go, I think there's concerns wherever you are. Um, you know, some people worry about earthquakes, some people worry about uh, hurricanes uh, in our country. Uh, we don't worry about cockroaches very much, but forest fires are definitely one that's up there. Um, and uh, I, th I think it's about being informed. I think it's about being prepared. I think it's about uh, information. And I think, um, I think our residents have more information than probably uh, most out there and are very tuned in. And so I think the worst thing you can do is, is kind of get numb to that feeling or think that there's a place that you can go that n you're never going to have to worry about anything. So, um, you know, m my message to residents, uh, I will be providing updates today. I'll be, um, uh, I'll be monitoring those things myself and I'll be cutting my grass. So uh, life goes on and that's what we got to do.